On this part, you'll learn how to show the details of a producer. For that, we're going to start with the producer's controller, add the necessary view, and then at the end, we are going to test if everything works as expected. In Visual Studio, go to the producer's controller because in here we are going to now create a new action result, and this is going to be a get request, and the way this request will look like will be the producer's controller, then details, and then we are going to have the ID of the producer. So down here, let us just type public async, then task, I action results, and then in here details. This is going to take a single parameter that is going to be the producer ID, so int ID. And then inside here, we are going to check if the producer exists in the database and then if it exists, we are going to return the data to a view. So for that, I'll just type in here var, then producer details is equal to await. We are going to use the service, so the producer's service in this case, dot get by id async method. And then in here, pass as a parameter the id from the details action result. Now, if the producer details is null, which means that the producer does not exist in our database, we are going to return the view named not found. And this view can be found inside the shared folder. So if the producer details is equal to null, then we are going to return this view. But if the producer details is not null, then we are going to return the view details, which we are going to create, and then pass as a parameter the producer details. Now let us go to the solution explorer and add the details view, so control C, then go to the solution explorer, in here go to the views, then inside the producers, we are going to add a new view, we are going to name this view the details view. Now, I'm not going to type all this code for the producers because the producers view is similar to the actors view. So for that, I'll just go to the solution explorer and then in here go to actors and open the details view. Then here I can see that we have a typo. So instead of having the add a new actor, let us change this to details of the actor. Then control A, control C and then go to the other details view and paste all the code in here. Let us first scroll up, change the model from actor to be producer. And then down here we're going to have details of the producer. And we can see that the rest is working just fine because the producer and the actor models have the same properties. So let us just save all the changes and then let's run Visual Studio. Here in the app, let us go to the management and then go to producers and then click the details button for a producer. We can see that nothing happens and that's probably because we have not updated the details button. So let us just close the browser and go back to Visual Studio. In here, go to the Solution Explorer and open the index view for producers. Then you scroll down to the buttons section. And here you can see that we have the edit button, we have the details and the delete. Let us set the controller. So ASP-controller. This is going to be the producers controller. But since we are within the same folder, we can just remove this part and just set directly the action. So the controller is going to be by default the producer's controller. The action is going to be details. And the third parameter is going to be the route parameter, which in this case is the ID in the details action result. So let's go back to the index.c-sharp-html and then set the asp-route and then dash id equal to 
this is going to be the item dot id now let us save the changes and run visual studio one more time so in here let us go to management and then producers click the details button for the first one so producer 5 and now you can see the details of the producer 5 if you click the show all button you can see that we are redirected to the producers view